Hello everyone and welcome back to Dial H. Today we are going to dive into the custom side of Hero Clicks, hopping into the maker's market and looking at a product that I am very excited about. Before we do that though, I do just want to let you guys know the first ever in-person IPF event, International Player Foundation, will be happening March 16th in Richardson, Texas, hosted by Brad Broyles. If you guys are curious about the details for that, the link will be in the description below for that event, and feel free to contact myself or any of the Dial H members about further details. As you can see, the prizing is pretty great. We've got some custom Dial H tokens, which are awesome. The Wonder Woman Generations Con exclusives, a few more, some Scott Porter's Iconics, and most importantly, all of the Chase figures that were sent to us for next phase. That's the Steve, which, trust me, Calder did not want to give this one up, the Tarret, and then the Ultra Chase Kevin as well. In addition to a lot more, first place is going to win a pre-ordered brick of their choice, and there will also be another pre-ordered brick raffled off by Brad Broyles himself. So, if you guys want to participate, you're in the area, please feel free to check that out, and please participate. 100% of the proceeds are going directly to the IPF. In addition, if you guys would like to pre-order one of the shirts for Dial H this year, that's right, the Cap Wolf and Hulk with the Dial H logo on the side card there. These are $25. Get in contact with us on our YouTube page, Facebook page, or directly at the Dial H for Hero Clicks Gmail, and we can get that ready for you. Well, without further ado, let's hop into the maker's market side of things and let's look at what I ordered. So, what did I order? Well guys, this comes from Craftsworks Forge, which is owned by Adam Shiver, and this is in no way a sponsored content video. This is just a product I thought was really cool and I had to pick up. If you were in Florida or if you watched our live stream, you probably saw some of his work. And if you see on the box here, you can see that Batman sticker. So you know it's gonna be a 10 out of 10 here, maybe even more. But guys, we'll jump right into it. I'll pop this guy open. I actually already opened the box, but I did purchase one of Adam's beautiful carrying cases. As you can see, it's a 3D printed work of art here, some screws in the side, magnets on the front, uh, that comes off for some storage. And then we also have a map holder on the back and my favorite detail of this whole thing, it is actually a utility belt. This thing also has some weight to it as well, so it feels very premium, very quality, and it is just going to be a great way to store your hero clicks if you're going to an event at all. So let's break this thing down, let's take a closer look at it, and let's see if this may be a product for you and your Heroclix collection. So here is everything deconstructed, guys. We've got the base plate of it, the figure holder, the card and token holder, and then additional storage at the bottom here, which we'll do a few tests with at the end, but we'll kind of go through it piece, to piece by piece here. So the first thing we have is the face plate, which is a ton of fun. Adam does custom work for this, so if you have a specific character that you want, you can actually tell him and you can get a custom order of that. I know quite a few people have already done that. I'm basic, I like Batman, so Batman works for me. And so, uh, the first thing to go over is just the figure holder. So we have this quality 3D printed tray right here. And so, with a lot of 3D prints, I'm a little hesitant on because they often have that like extra webbing from the printing on it. From what I can see from reviewing it for the time I've had it, there isn't really any of that going on here, so it is a very high quality print. Um, it doesn't feel 3D printed, so that's very important. On top of that, there's a lot of depth in where the dials are stored. So you can see I'm kind of shaking it around here. Uh, it's not really moving a ton. So uh, I would feel pretty comfortable carrying this around. And that will usually go, I imagine, on the top of it. You can see there's multiple slots within the box itself. So you can kind of stack things how you want it to be. But I imagine for the most part, you're gonna do the extra storage, uh, the cards, tokens, and then the figures on top. After that, we have the card, uh, the equipment card storage and dice, and then the tokens as well. So the tokens fit six a slot, so 24 total. Um, this can also carry, I would imagine, like your hindering, your smoke, your water terrain, any ter extra terrain you have can also fit in the bottom if it doesn't fit in either of these slots. Uh, the cards also will go in here. So all of your additional effects can just go in that tray below. And once again, just a quality 3D print. I, I'll say it again, it just does not feel 3D printed, which is very nice. And then on the bottom as well, we've got some additional storage. So if you want to put some maybe equipment there or maybe some two by two figures, if they fit, I guess we'll see that in a moment. Possibly some double base figures if you're like me and didn't opt for the double base storage tray. That was an option with the original one. I opted to go with just the normal uh, singular figure storage because I thought if I have a double base figure on my team, I can just throw it in this bottom compartment. 
And so you'll see this is just a big open box at the bottom. So anything that won't fit traditionally in what's slotted here, we can throw there. And we'll do some tests now. So as you can see off camera, I have a Kong, which I'll put here, and then a Brimstone. And we'll kind of see how those guys fit in the box. They're not the biggest Colossals, but they are the ones I have on hand. So we will take a look at that and we'll see how that goes. Well, you can't fit everything into the box at once. If you did have a team with some Colossals on it, you could opt to carry your tokens, cards, dice, and other effects in maybe a bag of some kind, and then have the figures just over top here. You can see we've got a good amount of space, but for some taller figures like the God of Knowledge, who is considerably taller than most figures, uh, he does not quite fit in this setup either. But that is okay. If you have a Colossal build, I'm sure you can work out a spec within this box. Lastly, a really cool compartment that this box has is on the back. We just flip it around here. We actually have a map holder, and my favorite detail of this entire thing, which is that the holder itself is the bat belt. I mean, does it get any cooler than that? And so, if you take some maps, you can actually just drop those in there. And that is a nice little addition, so you can carry those around with you as well. So that is everything for this video, guys. It's a really cool product, one that I am excited to bring to events. I'll be at Adepticon, Gen Con World, and I will be sure to have this with me, carrying whatever Heroclix effects I need. If you guys want to check this out for yourself, once again, Adam can do custom designs. You can check out Craftworks Forge. That's his website right here. And then there's also a link in the description below. Guys, this is an excellent product. Definitely something to look at and definitely something to get in contact with Adam about if you are interested. So, like always, wait, no, I don't say that. I'll see you guys later.